Hello everybody, my name is Danny and welcome to Retro Millennia. Today we are going to be unboxing the new Nintendo Switch with a Pro Controller and the special edition of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I just picked it up today from the midnight launch. It is currently 12.30 in the morning, so let's hop right into it. So I think the first thing we're gonna do is unbox the system. I think that's what everybody wants to see first. So you can see we'll get all this, all these goodies out of the way. I'll get my little Yosh back here with me. Here's my little desk buddy that I keep over when, our, when we're streaming and things like that. So let's just look at the box first here. I got a little camera over here. You guys can see it right here. Looks pretty nice on the back side here. It's got the Nintendo Switch logo. On the bottom, it's got a little tab, and that's where you're gonna open the bad boy. And then we'll just pull that up. And then it pops right out like this. And I might be opening this upside down, so I'm gonna flip this over so I don't do that. All right, and I was number 10. This is very small, not what I was anticipating at all. So you'll get a first look at the front of the box here. It's uh, a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. You can see my hand covers this entire thing pretty easily. And uh, so we've got Joy-Con right, Joy-Con right, and Joy-Con right right there. And of course, it's partner Joy-Con left and Joy-Con left. And we'll put these bad boys, very light. Leave those in the bag for a sec and we'll pop out the system itself. I'm so, so shaky right now, I don't wanna hurt this thing at all. And you can see it right here. And on the back it's got the bag, with the, or excuse me, the, the Switch logo under the bag. Right there, you can see that. And you can see the front of the screen right here. I'm gonna leave all these things in the bag and then we'll pull everything out. We'll get this bad boy off screen over here. Okay, so cable-wise, got the signature Nintendo HDMI cable here, here, over here. And then of course we've got the new charging, which is now gonna, I know it's gonna be the universal style. Uh, it's what my phone, the Nexus 6P, which you're seeing me being recorded on this camera is. Uh, USB-C charging, so it'll be nice that I uh, can bring this around and if I ever need to charge it, I can charge right from my phone uh, charger as well. See right here, and this one I'll actually pop out immediately so you guys can see the charging style. USB-C, it's like a reverse lightning cable for anybody that has an, 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 uh, an iPhone, essentially. Instead of it plugging in, being uh, top and bottom touching the chips, it's reverse, so there's an opening and it plugs in around a chip on the inside. All right, and now we have the cradle that the Joy-Cons dock onto, which I'll just take right out because it's in a translucent bag, and we can see Nintendo Switch is a very, very light handle. Feels pretty ergonomic, which is gonna be good. You can see right here, got the, uh, you can see the logo kind of reflecting off of that. You can see on the sides here, it's got the, uh, the mounts where you're gonna slide it on right there. So I'll leave that right here with the charging cable. And then we've got wrist strap and wrist strap for the Joy-Cons, which also I believe have the buttons on them for the ZLZR. If I'm saying that correctly, I believe I am. Not off the top of my head. Okay, we've got the, the manuals as normal, the safety guides, etc. We'll pull this out. And then of course the cradle itself. And so we'll uh, un unbag this bad boy here. And uh, again, in a translucent foamy kind of bag. It's got a matte finish with like a kind of glossy paint job that says Nintendo Switch on it. I can't believe how small this is, to be honest. But you can see right here, it's got the Nintendo Switch kind of logo. Over here, it's that matte and gloss kind of finish, which is not really too glossy. It's kind of like a, a different shade of two different mattes, more or less. It's got the two standard USB ports on the side right there. And of course, the actual part where you slide the console itself into. And then on the back, which is nice, you have the cable management, which will be super convenient. And uh, let's unbox the actual uh, system, or the, unpackage the system. Get all these bags out of the way here. Put this all here. And we'll close this bad boy up. Put this down here as well. So, we'll put the, the system right there. We've got Joy-Con right. It's uh, the analog sticks are very tight. This feels very nice. Buttons feel signature, just like they always do with Nintendo. Feel very good and clicky. 
home button. A little squishy, but nothing too terrible. Um, I guess it's to differentiate the button feelings from actually playing versus like you're gonna do something different with this button. And then uh, SL and SR. Oh, sorry, I was saying those wrong. And then uh, those feel good. This is, is very small, so it's gonna be very strange to play something like this. Uh, gonna have to test that out in a couple games that we have. You can see Joy-Con here. Analog stick, you've got R and ZR right here. And then uh, SLSR right there. So we'll put this bad boy right there. And then of course you have the other matching one right here. And all of those features. And on this side, this is the side I believe, if I remember correctly, that has the um, its amiibo functionality. So both of those in your hand. That doesn't feel too awkward. Um, the right analog stick feels a little low for my hands, but I have decently sized hands, so it's it's a little bit of a an awkward, like I'm pulling my thumb back a little to hold it, but nothing that I couldn't easily do with using like the, the joint of my thumb rather than the tip of my thumb, which I mean, it's, it's fine. I'll get used to it. Not too worried about that. And let's just slide this bad boy out. Yeah. LCD screen, looks nice and clean. So obviously we're gonna slide the Joy-Cons, I'm holding it upside down like a dummy. There we go. So, on top you have the volume left right, and then the power button. You have the game card slot with the headphone jack. And then on the bottom you have the USB-C port. And obviously this is where you'll dock the Joy-Cons. So, you can see, oh and the kickstand, sorry, almost forgot about the kickstand. So you have the kickstand right there, obviously. That kinda pops out, you can close that. And then we have USB-C on the bottom here. And we have, obviously, where the Joy-Cons mount on each side. Again, the, the back of it. And then the top, where you have power, volume, and game cart and headphone slot. So, I am so nervous to do this, but it just snaps right in. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Nice little firm click at the at the at the bottom. It slides right on, and then you can you can feel that click. This doesn't feel awkward at all. It feels nice and sturdy. I am gonna get a screen protector for this because with how much I'm gonna be carrying this around, I don't want this getting damaged. And uh, we will put this bad boy on hold. Um, thoughts on the kickstand? Does not feel very sturdy. Be very careful with this. Uh, I could easily see this snapping off if you are not gentle with it. This is, bends very easily at the hinge. That is something to be careful about. And Yosh can hold right onto this one. Uh, put him, put him right there. Yeah, definitely, cause like, you put that too far, that'll tip right over. So just be careful about that. So let's get all the bags out of the way over here. I don't care about the, the Joy-Cons wrist straps for now. And then, uh, oh, you know what? Let's take these off. I wanna see how they feel on the, uh, on there. Ooh. All right, so the button on top is, I gotta imagine is the release of it. Yeah, there we go. I don't know how they got that to do it that easily on the, on the, <laughs> there's no way. Cause I'm holding the button right now. That's not releasing. You gotta be, you gotta give it a little, little firm grip on that. So Yosh can still hold the, the system itself. And then we'll just kinda pop this bad boy on here. Boom, that same clicking feeling on the, uh, on there itself. Uh, let's see. A again, it's the, the placement of the analog stick on the right just feels so weird with this. Like, I just think the little doggy face controller is something I'll have to get used to in, in the grand scheme of things, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, plus and minus buttons at the top feel good. The D-pad, Feels fine. It's a little weird because it's not like the rotational ones like they've always done on their on their controllers. Like from literally all of them, this is the first time they're not doing like their their shtick of having a pivot point in the center and then having it be like a rollable D-pad. So something we'll have to get used to. Um, the triggers or the shoulder buttons rather, I think is just this is it's just a controller that my hand will have to get the muscle memory for. But we can put that right here. We can do the controller next. And I'll just, good thing that's why I got this. We will close. We will cut this open. All right, I'm gonna 
don't rip the box like the PS4 unboxing. Oh, God. Okay, there we go. <sighs> At first, I was a little bit bitter toward the controller being 70 bucks. I'm like, you know what? I paid that for my PS4 controllers, and this thing looks super sturdy, so I'm not gonna get super upset about that. I understand Nintendo's really trying to step up their, their content with this, so I can't be too bent out of shape about something like that. So here we have the USB to USB-C. God, I have so many USB-C cables now. This is gonna be fantastic for charging my phone and charging the controllers and everything, because I'll be able to charge it anywhere I go, basically. The real question is what uh, volts does it support, so if it's fast charging or not. And the Pro Controller. So, that, wow, already feels way more comfortable. That is incredible. There's the signature D-pad that I know that rolls around. Let's get that bad boy up on the camera here. And we'll, uh, you can see that it's, the, the, the triggers are so nice feeling. They're not like, the, they're scooped, but they don't, they're just clickable. They don't have an actual like release feeling. They're not spring loaded, that's what I was trying to say. Um, the analog sticks feel fantastic. They're super tight. They're, even though they're um, convex, so they have a, uh, like a uh, spherical shape to them, they still have a bit of a dip. They have like a lip around them, so your thumb's not gonna slip off like I thought it would. A lot of the videos didn't really show off the Pro Controller in the light that I wanted it to, but now that I'm holding it, it seems a lot a lot better, for sure. I can't wait to see what Mad Cats comes up with something like this. It's gonna be fantastic. And uh, USB, uh, USB-C type on the top. Yeah, this is probably what I'm gonna default to at, at all times. Um, I mean, I'll probably leave the Joy-Cons docked in the uh, in the little doggy doggy face there, but to be honest, I'll probably just use the majority of the Pro Controller. I still wanna get to know how like the HD rumble feels and everything like that. So, now to the fun one the special edition of Breath of the Wild. This one has a really nice, clean-looking box, so I'm gonna be super careful to not mess this one up. I'm, like, shaking to not cut the box or anything with the box cutter right here. Let's just uh, put this over here, and then open this bad boy. Come on. Clean, aesthetic, and then uh, let's see what we got here. All right. So we'll pull this out first without anything falling out, for God's sakes. We'll move this over. There's still stuff in the box, so we'll deal with that in a sec. Um, got the Sheikah Stone carrying case for the Switch. It's pretty big. I was not thinking it was going to be this big, to be honest. Um, I guess they just want me to pull it out like this. There's no really, no clear way to understand how I'm supposed to do that. Oh, it's a, it's an actual hard case. That's nice. That wasn't expected. It's like a rubbery with a, with a zip, zipper on it. So the zipper has like the little uh, Sheik Stone eye on it, and we've got the uh, the front of it. it. Has that? We can kind of look at it like this if you want. We're recording horizontal here, so that doesn't make a lot of sense. And then on the back, it's got that, which is pretty clean. And we'll open this up. This whole time, all I can think about is like something like that. All right. So on the inside, you've got like a little mesh kind of holder right here. You've got the slots for the, the game carts and then, you, you know, the actual holder itself, which is Velcro to hold the system itself. Nothing, nothing too crazy. You know, just a nice clean edition of the Zelda game. Boom. And then uh, we'll close that bad boy up and put it on top of the manual because we're not going to be doing anything with the manual. This is a box that I will definitely, I'll probably collapse the box, but I'll still like to keep it. Oh god, there's stuff falling out of its holders. It's not gonna present cleanly on the video. The video's ruined. Start it over. Put this down here. All right, so, let's put the soundtrack back under. There we go, okay, so, open the box. That's how you, oh, nope, the coin's rotated. It's gotta, it's gotta sit right on this. It's not going to, whatever. So, that's what it looks like. I don't wanna tilt it too forward because I'm afraid the coin's gonna fall out, but I'll do it, I'll look like that. And then we'll bring it right over here so you can see the game card. The soundtrack's underneath, under my ring finger. And then we've got the coin right here and then the, the scroll map right here. So, let's pop this out. And this is like an egg carton kind of feel. I like the blue. I really like the blue that Nintendo has brought to Zelda. It gives it a, a fresh feel. I know that like green is their signature thing, 
but it's still nice to have like kind of a fresh vibe to it. I think it's because it's more of an open world RPG feel kind of game, so the fresh color, fresh look, fresh feel for the whole series. So, very, very simple case. Um, just says, you know, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild with the Switch icon on it. It's got the, uh, the Guardian shooting the laser beam on the back and on the side, it's just red with the Switch icon, it says Zelda Breath of the Wild and Nintendo at the bottom. And uh, I guess I can open this, why not? Easy does it. I don't wanna cut the plastic on this. And then we will open this bad boy up. All right, this is trash now. And then on the inside, this is this is the moment. Just gotta open it and then you get one of those. You get one of those with everyone. Wow, that is a really tiny game cart. Um, very, very bland inside. Nothing, nothing to really show off other than the game card's super tiny. And we'll just bring that over here. There are little lips, like if you wanna put papers in, it's right, uh, they're right here. If you wanna put stuff under there for like, I guess notes or something like, I don't know. Um, and the game card's super tiny. It's about the size of a Vita card, actually. Um, I just found out today that Nintendo actually flavored their cartridges, so if you put them in their mouth, in your mouth, uh, it, they're bitter. So I think it's for like toddler protection. So if a toddler puts it in, it's bitter, they'll spit it back out, which is smart, you know. It, oh, it was stuck down by a little gooey. Okay, so on the front, we've got the Zelda coin. It's got the Zelda icon with the sword going through it, the signature Z, and then we've got the Sheikah, the, the eye on the back. Eye of Truth, Sheikah Eye, whatever you want to call it. This looks like the lens of truth to me. That's what I think it is. I'm just gonna put that back in there since it's sticky. It'll stay right in there. Boom. We have the soundtrack, which will be going on my iTunes because I have the entire soundtrack from Twilight Princess on there as well. We got that over here, just clean. And then it's just uh, Archer Link shooting something. And we'll put that over here. And then the scroll. And this, ooh, I like that texture. My finger just brushed over it. That feels clean. Oh, I, I don't even know what to call this kind of, I mean, it's it's paper, but it actually is like scroll, that, wow, that is gorgeous. Let me just get a look at that really fast. I love this feeling. It feels like like old. That's awesome. Central Hyrule, this is, this is really nice. So you can see here, I'll hold it up straight so you guys can see that. And then here, just in frame like that. And then on the back, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a, like a different version of Ganon right there, which is pretty cool. And we'll just roll that bad boy back up. And if memory serves me correctly, that is everything that I got today, other than the guide, but I don't think there's anything to really show off with the guide. We all know what comes in a guide. It's just a book to show you everything. Now my rule with the games, with games like this, when I buy them, is I don't open the guide until I've beaten the game at least once. My cousin, I have my cousin Will to thank for that. Um, he calls it cheating. But basically, uh, you know, get through the game once and then look at the guide to see what you missed, which I think is, is okay. That's not a, a bad rule to go by. So I slide that back in there and let it do its thing. We're back in, oh actually, let's tuck that back in there. I might frame this. It, that would probably be the best thing to do so it doesn't get damaged. We'll put the that back in there, and we'll put this in here, and then we will up in front the switch. If it'll stand up. Okay, so that's sitting really awkwardly. I don't know why they didn't put a double kickstand or one in the center. That's like, yeah, that is trying to tilt over, and like my kickstand is all the way out right now. So. Thank you so much to everybody who's taken the time to watch the whole video. This was a lot of fun to unbox. I can't wait to boot it up. I'm not gonna boot it up right now because often when I try turning these things on, it never goes according to plan and the editing is just a mess. So again, thank you for watching. If you liked it, please feel free to like the video and subscribe to our channel. We love doing what we do. Uh, it's our, it, we put our heart and soul into the channel. Feel free to share the video. This is something I'd really like a lot of people to see. This is something I love doing. And feel free to leave a comment below. Have a great day, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.